Why do I love these game developers? Well, it's because they give us a lot of free sh I mean, that's part of it. But really, it's because... They care about us. And by us, I mean the consumers. The player base who is logging in to collect their rewards, play their game all the time, keep their community alive. I played Omega Strikers for 13 hours my second day of trying it. I was just having a great time. It didn't matter if I lost 10 games in a row, it was just that fun for me. They really do care though. They made the game available on all major platforms. PC, iOS and iPhone, Android phones, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One, the Series S, and the Series X. They also know how to properly prepare hype. I mean, the entire announcement for the twin character started with a dark silhouette being shown and it was originally said that it would be one character and then slowly but surely they said if they got a certain amount of likes and retweets on Twitter, they would unveil some more of the character. And as that went along, two more tweets happened and we saw a little bit more of the guitar and the shoes. And then you know what the rest was? We ended up with two characters instead of one. They gave us more than what they said they would. That's a cool surprise to me. For me, they're doing the hype and excitement right. I mean, two brand new characters within one month of full release. I think for that, they deserve some applause. And yes, we are gonna talk about it. Upon release, a cry was heard from the community of how Vice and Octavia were jamming out a little too hard. And the very next day, what did the devs do? BAM! They gave us a micro patch with adjustments on both characters. Some devs for games let balance or bug problems sit on the game for weeks, maybe even months, but not this team. They were there to fix it right away. And for that, I, I'm really grateful. I, And there was another bug that had to do with audio on the new map Demon Dice, but Team Odyssey was on top of that too, and they patched it within two days of the update. You see what I'm saying? They care, like, they really care. For a while, people have been asking for a way to surrender because of the leaving problem that some people run into when their teammate may leave early at the first round or even halfway through the match, and then it becomes a 2v3 or something of that sort. You know how it goes. And the devs are listening. They're taking feedback constantly. But the beauty of this, again, is they actually try to hear out the community and do something about it. I don't think I've seen a confirmation of when they may implement it, but it's clear that it's on its way and they're aware of the frustration it causes the player base when they care enough to try and resolve something like this. Oh, and you thought I was gonna make a video about how I love the devs without mentioning Sony? Sony's been killing it with the narrating and the updates of the videos on the official Mega Strikers channel on the YouTube with core chat and other things, even just handing out Sony special emotes when she feels somebody's earned it. A uh, big salute to Sony. I haven't gotten any of those emotes, but maybe one day, maybe one day. Well, that's gonna be it for the video guys. Thanks for watching. And if you wanna follow me on my social links, they'll be in the description. I also stream on Twitch. If you choose to stop by, I'd love to have you. And if you wanna talk about Omega Strikers, music, or anything in general, I have a Discord as well. Join the family. Shout out to Odyssey Studios. I'm a fan of y'all and I appreciate you guys. Thanks for making one of my favorite games out to date. And I can't wait to keep showing my support for all that you guys do. Peace, everybody.